She is the vortex at the center of the vortex, the spiral that spins at the core of the American spirit, the force that drives the swirling gyre of life itself. And she refuses the soft drug of submission. She rejects the false wisdom of acceptance. She wants to win and win only. And her legacy is a vessel that will carry her name to the far shores of time. Ladies and gentlemen, 104 hard-boiled eggs, 52 ears of corn, 48 and one half Nathan's famous hot dogs and buns. The number one ranked female eater in the world. The number three ranked eater in the world overall. The eight time Nathan's famous champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Sudo! From five, four, three, two, one, go! Who's hungry and let's eat as they get started? 10 minutes on the clock. I find it amusing that the halfway point, they say, is like three and a half minutes. <laughs> you know, it's the first three where they really establish themselves. And interestingly, they are within the first eight seconds. I've been fascinated by this, this habit of Mickey's, this almost quirk of hers, that she goes to wipe her face and wipe her mouth with her, uh, with her jersey. And it's, uh, it, it's something I noticed a couple years ago. She was in there within eight seconds. Take a long look down that table. She's actually rare because she eats over those course of 10 minutes. She's actually really good on the Ladies back Ladies and half. gentlemen, we are off. Unusual for anybody. And Mickey Sudo has told me Top of the board early, Sudo, but Ebi Hara. The, the humidity has gone down a little she worried bit, about. but Mickey wanted the heat to be just a few degrees lower. So this will be about who sustains that DPM, who sustains the dog per minute. Ever there are three people at the top of the board. Sudo just a bit better. They're right on her heels. Record 48 and one if Sudo were to a dog slow and down a little bit, get to three and a half, whatever it might be, uh, she may be in trouble, but we don't know. This is the thing. They always, we just don't know. Well, they're dog Down for dog right table, here. Barbara Labarge, the first I met her for the first time. Minute and a half. Washington, D.C., a and great Michelle competitor. Michelle goes there. Moving well, forward. past Renee champion. Renee Rovtar, a great Wait, educator. 30 and three and seven quarters years on the circuit. Her championship the here. Superintendent in the world. And well, they keep the pace there with seven right on their heels is Michelle Lesko. Who makes the judgment that you beat three quarters of one of these things? It's, it's a game of fractions. Michelle Lesko, just an incredible competitor. Former Acme Oyster Eating Champion. One of the more daring competitors and it's happening now, in our league. My she is looking around. My you know that Ebi she's still in this is thing. Now she is two minutes in. Mickey Sudo, and she is not going for second. Time she's not going up. for 48. Four times she's going for that's 50 a lot of podium herself finishes. from Tokyo, Japan. Our competitor is now on well, Mickey. She and Abihara. So what's interesting here is that they call it uh, sixth generation eating in Japan, where it's a different style than what we do. It's incredibly neat. Like, they want to be very respectful of the ceremony of eating, while also, you know, Mary Bowers now competitive from eating. Seoul, South Korea. And it's almost very, as if very well. Mickey Sudo is respecting that with wiping her face Prudence between every bite, but she's going to want to stop victory. doing that because no I feel as though it's going to slow her or interrupt her rhythm, well. unless that's her rhythm and I'm just an uneducated, you know, onlooker. I don't know. This, you've been here for 20 Ladies years. Every year that this has been on <laughs> Right in the end, I trust your My opinion. Oye, 20 years, she's, can you believe she's that? She's dancing, she's moving. And they're in fourth. Three Pharrell minutes Marie now. Millet, Three minutes who's now. been in this competition now 13 times and been in the top 10 every time. She's Me been pseudo. in the top five 10 times. So a quality eater right there. You see her from behind. I'll be interested to see what the final number is, whether it's Ebihara or Sudo. Are we going to see a record? I'm thinking right now, no. I don't think 50 is on the right. on the mark anymore. I think, uh, and I, I think Mickey will say, well, gosh, I came out and I, had to, I, I think she was a little bit distracted by the ability of my own. Now, this is, gives you an indication of where we're Yeah, I think right now it's uh, you're, you're in a fight. I, did, I am here to win first, and the record would be, would be great, but I, I'm in a battle just to get the belt. Yeah, that's no diss, though, on these ladies. There's some amazing eating out here, and uh, you got to figure about 60, 70 miles east out in Southampton. 
Gwyneth Paltrow, she's a fan. She's probably on housing neck by her pool, watching on, eating a carrot, cheering on Mickey, her favorite eater. Hey, Gwyn, happy for Eat salary, right? Like, the salary has, like, negative calories. Negative calories, yeah. Actually, watch Sudo you from time to time. She's peeking over. She's watching. Usually, you're kind of focused. It's you and the that plate of five that you get. She keeps looking I over there, and we're even, back even at 32. Even I, get, I don't even know what to say. Abby, no, how is back with the Down to the last 90 seconds. And this thing is still very much up in the air. This is going to be really to the judges Mickey because Sudo. these are unofficial. It's going so fast down there. But either way, Mickey's such a strong female role model. Mickey is a unifier, like the late queen Elizabeth or Ice Spice. Mickey inspires eaters now. around the world, and I they think dead even. Mayoi is doing that today herself. So let's go with sewed up third. That we know, but Mickey first place now. is entirely up to this last One minute. Heavy Ahara ahead briefly, pseudo to catch her. By the way, this hurts at this point, right? Like, at this point, there, there's no joy here. Now, this, this is, is what marathoners call the box. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta just focus and go. 45 seconds now. All right, well, Sudo now and officially a box. She is the Taylor Swift of Swift eating. Can she hang on to that sober game? Well, there are a lot of Swifties out here in that case. Sure, rooting for her. 30 seconds now. 30 seconds. Do they have time? One, two. You're like, it's 38. The number is 37, the number. Sudo has never been challenged like this before. If she's going to get a ninth in a row, that would be a record in all divisions. Critical pause. Going to have to work Critical pause. All the way down. Eight, seven, six, five, down to the four, final seconds. Three, two, one swallow. Pseudo at 37-36. That's the unofficial total right now. Well off 50. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it was too close to call. You saw we were trying. The judges were having difficulty keeping up. But then we got the commissioner into the game and we got the right count. At the end of the day, one of these eaters had 39 and one half, and the other had 33 and one half. But there can only be one winner. And today, the Nathan's Famous Champion is... Mickey Sudo! Another pink belt. And one half. So we had some drama there. <laughs> With the count as we were trying to go along, I think you're right. The case was made for Sudo that there was a plate in there, 39 and a half to 33 and a half. So the final margin turns out to be six, which is still, you know, thin as the skin on your teeth, the casing on a dog. As she comes through, it's she's challenged like never before. Her total a little more impressive, 39 and a half, a half off of what she had last year, still nine off her record. Congratulations, Mickey, on your ninth win. I saw a big dispute, everybody saw that. What were you truly thinking at the very end of that? Well, the hot dogs are stacked five to a plate. So once I clear a plate, the count should be a multiple of five. So I think because we were moving or eating two hot dogs at once, um, the refs kind of lost count at one point or not. Obviously, they'll catch up in, in the end. The dispute at the end was because between Michelle Lesko and I, there was one bun and both of us were like, if we had seen that it was ours, we would have eaten it. Neither of us wants to finish on that sort of note. So I looked at Michelle, I'm like, I don't think it's mine, but she said the same thing, and my drink mix is pink, so my drink mix claimed the bun, and that's where the deduction came from. But um, yeah, that was a little dispute. Um, yeah, and towards the end, you did say yesterday that uh, the conditions were really gonna play a factor, did they? Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe I'm just, uh, Maybe I'm just 10 years older than I was when I first started, but it's hot. I mean, but the crowd was great. I pushed hard. Honestly, what threw me off the most is, I mean, Mayoi knows this. I was really, really aware that she was going to pose a threat. So uh, in the first couple of minutes, I found myself watching her, which I never want to do. I never want to be distracted by the other competitors. I was watching her. I fumbled my hands. I got stuck with a big burp early on, but I was able to correct. 39 is a low number, though. I'm sorry, guys. So how did it, what made you want to challenge at the end when the number was wrong? Because sometimes you just want to leave it up to the judges. What made you speak up? 
Uh, because, I mean, I can see that I cleared eight complete plates. Um, times five would be 40 hot dogs. And then the dispute was that one bun. Um, you know, in the end, it wouldn't have changed the placings. Um, you know, but I think it's just more the principle of the thing. I just want people to know that I would not have left a partial hot dog on the table. Um, Except for in 2020 when we didn't have a countdown, and that was uh, that was like, well, I'm sorry. Well, you did mention too that you were going to change maybe your strategy and your technique coming into this. I noticed that you went straight for those two hot dogs in the beginning. Why did you go back to your old technique? I did. I went straight for two, and then I switched over to one. I couldn't decide. Nothing. I couldn't commit to anything. Maybe that was my problem. I have 364 days to to really perfect it, and not switch up techniques at the last second. Doesn't have to win, but I, I told my wife she definitely has to come back next year. Thanks so much, and congratulations, Mickey. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.